In the Applying the Warranty Payments video, we saw how warranty payments are applied in Parts and Service. In this video, we'll show you how to process those payments in QuickBooks. To view these transactions, let's go to the Customer Center, and now we need to scroll down and find Dometic. Click on Dometic. Over to the right, we can see our transactions, invoices, payments, credit memos. Let's start with our warranty write-off which is sent to QuickBooks as a credit memo that can be applied to the warranty invoice. Double click on it to open it. Up at the top of the form we want to select use credit to and we are going to use this credit memo to apply to an invoice. And that's what's selected. We can click OK. This brings up the apply credit to invoices form. Now we just need to select the invoice that we are applying the credit to. You can See that down here? and We can check that off click done and we can select save and close and now if we go up and take a look at our invoice we can see that it is now paid in full save and close the second type of payment was the overpayment we received we can tell this is the overpayment by the OP extension standing for overpayment and if we double click on it we can see also this is paid in full save and close now if we go back to the home page and we click on record deposits both the check we received from the warranty company and the overpay will appear on the payments to deposit form so we are combining the two payments on the deposit to match the actual amount of the money received check them both off click OK and now we can see they've been combined for a total of $419.26 save and close now let's go back to the customer center. The final type of payment is the vendor credit memos. The vendor credit memos are sent to QuickBooks as a payment using the payment method credit memo. By default these payments will show up in the undeposited funds account unless a different deposit account is selected. To do this we'll go back to the home page and record deposits and here we can select our credit memo from Dometic. We need to deposit that credit memo into a clearing account. Click OK and now select the Deposit To drop-down. From here we want to select the Warranty Credits Uncollected account. Now that the credit memo has been deposited to a WASH account, we can use that WASH account to pay the Dometic bill. Now we want to go to the Vendor Center, New Transactions, and Pay Bills. And Now we want to filter for Vendor Payables. And here we can see our Dometic bill for $77.20. We can select it. We can pay the full amount or you can make a partial payment. Just change the amount right here. For this example we'll pay the full amount. And Now we're going to take the money out of the warranty credit account. So we need to change the account to warranty credits. And that's it. Click pay selected bills and click done. Now to finish up this video, let's take a look at the setup you'll need in both QuickBooks and Parts and Service to process these different methods of warranty payments. We're still in QuickBooks, let's go up to Lists, Item List, and let's filter for Warranty. Here we can see all the items that are set up for you in QuickBooks. Warranty Write-Off Labor, warranty write-off parts and we can see the overpayment okay now let's go over to parts and service and see the setup over there from the parts and service homepage click on the financial tab and then click on accounts items classes by location and then select location preferences by department click on system preferences and then accounting preferences here we see the same warranty names that we saw over in QuickBooks. So we're telling the system what item to pick for the overpayment, class, labor, and so on. And that's it. Processing warranty payments in QuickBooks.